Testimony continues today in the second trial for the two men accused of plotting to kidnap Governor Whitmer. An FBI agent has been on the stand in the trial of Adam Fox and Barry Croft Jr. That agent is being grilled on how the agency uses confidential informants. Our Sean Lay has been there listening in on all of the developments. What's the update this noon, Sean? The update is actually behind closed doors right now, Rhonda. The situation is developing with the judge and a member of this jury. The judge says he is investigating a member of the jury that before jury selection, this person was called for jury duty and may have told others that they wanted to be on this particular jury for the Whitmer trial. That is a problem, but the judge says he's handling everything about it right now behind closed doors. The U.S. District Judge presiding over the Whitmer kidnapping retrial filing this restricted access order today looking to take control of an issue raised by the attorney for defendant Barry Croft that there already may be misconduct by a juror. The trial is only in its third day of testimony misconduct that could bring the trial to a screeching halt. Judge Robert Yonker outlining the situation by writing that he has been addressing a juror issue behind closed doors. An investigation into the alleged misconduct is underway and the judge spoke with that juror but apparently without prosecutors and defense attorneys present at that meeting. It's a juror issue Judge Yonker describes as a fluid and unfolding situation but an issue that the judge wants to handle outside of the public courtroom. Judge Yonker writing quote for now the court expects to continue addressing the situation in non-public hearings and filings while the case is pending to limit the risk of mistrial. Back here live, nothing in the judge's filing indicated that he removed this juror and put in an alternate right now. So for all intents and purposes, this particular juror under investigation is right in that jury box right now. Rhonda, you also mentioned these confidential informants working for the FBI. We're working on more of this story uh, for later on uh, Local 4 News starting at 4 and 5 o'clock. And to one of the uh, informants, uh, the FBI admitting today on the stand, smoked marijuana with these defendants and one also slept in the same bed as defendant Barry Croft, why they said that was happening. We have that for you. Those details at five o'clock. Back to you. All right. We look forward to those updates later today, Sean. Thank you.